warm welcome to the snowflake sql video series and my channel data engineering simplified in this episode 7 we will continue our discussion around context functions we will focus on one of the most important and rarely used session object context function called is role in session we will see it in action and how it can be used for a different purpose we all know the context functions are very powerful in snowflake but not used as frequently as expected we have already covered 22 context function in our previous six episodes refer the card above for the playlist link so let's start at the time of recording snowflake has following context function and it may grow in future eight general context function 10 session context functions and eight session object context functions the category classifications were discussed in detail in episode one of this series the context function strike and out are already discussed in our previous episodes refer the playlist link above in this episode 7 we will talk about is role in session context function which falls under object session context function this context function has a very important role when we talk about column level security and the data masking where can i find the sql script used in this episode you can go to my website and find all the sql script used in this episode the link is provided below in the description section. Where can I find the Snowflake documentation? The Snowflake documentation is available in docs.snowflake.com and you can get the link below in the description section. Let's talk about the definition of this context function as per the Snowflake. The syntax looks like this is role in session and it takes role name as a parameter. The definition says returns true if the user's current role in the session inherits the privileges of a specified role. The specified role can be the current role or any role lower in the role hierarchy. Example, select is underscore role underscore in underscore session in bracket analyst. If the analyst role is in the current role or if the analyst role is in the role hierarchy lower from that role, it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. We will see in the live demo. One important note, this function works only at enterprise and higher edition of Snowflake. It does not work with standard edition of Snowflake. Let's have a live demo. We will use Snowflake free trial edition to exercise the SQL script and understand how is role in session context function works. So here I am in my worksheet. I logged in with a user called admin and my profile is right now system admin. When we talk about a snowflake role hierarchy, the by default role hierarchy looks like this. You have the account admin as a topmost in the role hierarchy, which inherits the security admin as well as system admin. Security admin inherits user admin and all those roles are inheriting the public role. I am switching my role to the security admin. I can also do it from this context or I can do it using SQL statement. Let me do it through the SQL statement. I change my role and you see this role automatically changed. Now let me run this function where I'm passing the input parameter as a security admin. Since my current role is a security admin, this function returns a true value. Perfectly fine. Now let me go back to the Snowflake documentation and show you how this role hierarchy looks like. So if you go to the Snowflake documentation, the account admin is a topmost in the role hierarchy and it inherits security admin as well as system admin role. Security admin inherits user admin and user admin and all other roles automatically inherit the public role. What does it mean that if you are in the security admin, you can still get the true value if you give the user admin or a public as an input parameter for that context function. Let's try that. So here I have given the security admin, which is my current role, and I specified user admin as well as public role in this SQL statement. Since user admin and the public roles are lower than that, all of them will return true value. Let me run this statement. And here is my result. You can see all of them return true value, which makes perfect sense. Does it only take the lower case and upper case? Let's try it. It really does not matter if you have given the lower case and upper case. 
unless otherwise you have created any object using a double quote all the object names are converted into the upper case what if the role does not exist or if you have given an incorrect input how does it work let's see here i have given account admin and the incorrect spelling for the account admin for both of them it should return false the reason being account admin is a higher in the role hierarchy let me show you again so this is account admin and right now for my worksheet my role is set as a security admin so any role higher than that will return false or any incorrect role name will also return false let's run this sql statement now by looking at this value it is difficult to say whether i have given a incorrect input or i do not have access to the role so be careful while giving this input in this function does it need a running warehouse no this function uses the cloud service layer and it does not need a warehouse let me run this sql statement to check what is my current warehouse my current warehouse is ad hoc warehouse uh, and if i run this statement my warehouse is still suspended it is not activated let's understand what kind of function is role in session when i execute show function like is role in percentage it gave me the result says that is role is in session is inbuilt function yes it is not an aggregated function it require minimum one argument and maximum one argument so if you try to pass more than one or less than one it ends up with an error and when i try to hover it takes a varchar and returns a boolean and here is a description return true if in current hierarchy it is not a secure function it is not an external function and it is not a table function so this is how we validated the definition of is role in session can we assign the output of this function to a variable yes you can do that and since it returns a boolean it is always a boolean value so here i have defined user admin role exist yes user admin role exist the reason is that my current role is security admin and user admin role is lower than the security admin in the role hierarchy let me print this with the select statement which returns true perfectly makes sense now let me try with another example where i am using a user admin as well as i am using an account admin since account admin is not in the role hierarchy lower with my current role this will return false and this will return true and this values will respectively set with role underscore user admin underscore exist and role underscore account admin underscore exist let me run this statement let's print the result and this brings the result yes true and this is false makes a perfect sense the word of caution make sure that your open bracket and the closing bracket should match with the open bracket and the closing bracket otherwise you will end up with a compilation error now let's understand the snowflake default role hierarchy and elaborate this context function in detail so let me visit the snowflake page once again here you see that my lowest role is a public and system admin security admin user admin and account admin all inherit the public role so whichever role i am in if i try to pass the public role as a parameter i will always get a true if i pass a user admin with user admin role or any higher role i will get a true result same with system admin let's see it in action so i am setting my role as a public role my role got changed to public if i print this entire sql statement i can see my public role is returning true but rest of the roles are false which makes sense because public role is a lowest role in the hierarchy if i change my role to the user admin and if i run this select statement again i can see my public role and user admin role returns true because user i right now i am in the user admin role and user admin role inherits all the privileges from the public makes sense if i switch to the security admin if i run this sql statement for all first three i will get true value for this two i will get false value 
hopefully makes sense i am switching to the system admin now system admin does not inherit user admin and system admin also does not inherit security admin so for this too i will get a false my role got changed here it shows the public is true and this is true but rest everything is false so i demonstrated this because this is very very confusing for many of the snowflake developers uh, and i am going to demonstrate with another example now i have a second example where i have set up the role as it is shown here so here i have a project admin and project admin inheriting the role of a business analyst a devops admin and etl developer and system admin inherits inherits the role of a project admin and account admin is in the top of everything so this is how the role hierarchy looks like and if i try to run the same exercise what i have done for the default snowflake roles you would be able to understand how that function works and it turn true and false and according you can build a masking on a field so i start with a business analyst role right now i am system admin i am changing my role i am in the system analyst role since system analyst role is a lowest role in the entire role hierarchy i would get true for this but false for everyone else so true and you and false for all other switching to devops admin run this statement now i see the first is false and rest everything is false except the second one makes sense to me i change my role to the etl developer again running the same query so third one is true so this makes sense all of them are very lower level role and they do not inherit each other when i switch the project admin my role is a project admin i am printing the first four will come true the first four comes true because project admin has visibility to all this role now if i go to the system admin i am back to the system admin role and here what you find that all first five are true which is perfectly fine but account admin is still false because my current role is system admin if i switch to the account admin role now i am in account admin role let me run this sql now you see everything is true what does it mean this is how the role hierarchy works if you have a very complex role hierarchy in your system you can run this command and understand that whether you have that role before performing any operation and you can use this function for data masking and uh, hiding your data from the different roles i hope these two examples have given quite a lot of clarity how is role in session function works trivia time how much impact my content has on your knowledge So now let's see the answers.
Thank you for watching. For those of you who are visiting my channel first time, I request you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and press the bell icon to get the notification. If this content is meaningful and helping you in your day-to-day -day work, press the like button and also share your feedback. Before you go, if you are benefiting from any of my content, please share your success story. Find the form link in the description below.